Good morning out there, Zephyr Nation. It is the start of the week, but it is Tuesday, January 18th. I hope everyone had a great day off, but we've got to get back into routine, and that means morning announcements are coming at ya. Well, welcome back, Zephyrs. It is uh, Tuesday again, January 18th, and uh, several of you probably enjoyed your extended weekend. Um, but let's not forget, uh, the reason we had Monday off was to celebrate, obviously, um, and honor uh, Martin Luther King Jr. And I think he is such an important role model for our students uh, to really think about that he wanted to, again, create change and he wanted to create it in a positive way. Uh, again, he didn't believe in violence. He truly believed in loving your neighbor and treating everybody with kindness and showing that we can, again, uh, have positive change happen and we can resolve conflicts, again, through um, nonviolent action. So what a great discussion to continue to have in our classes. Again, I hope you understand it wasn't just a, a day off yesterday. It was truly a day to honor uh, an important uh, figure in our history. And I think, again, I love all the quotes, but I had to tell myself it's one thing just to share quotes that Martin Luther King Jr., um, had said, uh, but it's another thing to put those quotes and words in action myself. So working hard to try to model um, everything that Martin Luther King Jr. stood for. Uh, so again, I hope you have some conversations uh, around uh, just the phenomenal uh, human being that Martin Luther King Jr. was. Also, it is a fresh start, everyone. It is the start of second semester. Today, you're going to have an extended homeroom just to give every student a chance to take a look at their schedule. We've had some changes that we had to make, and also uh, some of you have a new elective or two new electives. Uh, so we want to make sure that our students understand that schedule. And then also you're going to learn about we are going to add, uh, starting tomorrow, um, the 19th, so Wednesday, January 19th, we're going to add uh, a little bit of time at the end of the day where you head back to your home room. Uh, we've recognized just several students are stressed out when they're trying to get to their bus and they have to go all the way back up to their locker. Um, for those students who are following our expectations of no coats and bags uh, in classes. And so what we've done is we really feel that homeroom family is something we want to create here at Lombard Middle School. And so we're going to let you check in in the morning for your homeroom and then check out at the end of the day and then you'll be dismissed from that homeroom so your day doesn't extend we've just done some a little bit of um, kind of shuffling of um, of some times uh, to make sure that we could uh, have that process to help our students so I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, that supports our students but also most importantly again creates that again um, homeroom family uh, here at Lombard Middle School uh, Lombard students, I've been excited looking at our scores uh, on our winter diagnostics for Scantron and Ready Math. I know we have several students that still need to make that test up, uh, but again, we will make sure to celebrate and congratulate those students who have grown from the fall to the winter, and we've had several students actually hit um, some major growth targets, so we want to make sure that we recognize those students uh, publicly and even individually to make sure that um, you know how proud we are of you because it again it is a challenge during this pandemic uh, to stay focused to again stay determined uh, to try to reach your fullest potential so those that maybe struggled for a semester whether that be uh, behaviorally whether that be academically in a certain subject whether that be just um, socially uh, if you struggled Second semester is a great place for a fresh start. Even as the principal, I've had to reflect on what went well and what didn't go so well and how can I continue doing those things uh, that started to help me create better habits, again, to be the best version of myself, but also what do I need to make sure that I try to change and improve upon so I can, again, 
reach that fullest potential and make sure that I do everything in my power uh, to help Lombard Middle School be the best school it can possibly be. And so I hope all of you take some time to really think about some new goals you might need to set or maybe some goals that you didn't accomplish and you need to think about the habits um, and some of the processes that you need to improve to hit those goals and targets because it feels great when you finally get to um, that again, uh, accomplish those goals. Um, and it takes a lot of hard work. And so I know that is one of our core values here at Lombard Middle School. Uh, so I would love for all of you to take some time to really reflect on uh, first semester, those grades will be posted. But how can you, again, don't let first semester either make you feel comfortable because you did so well and you just kind of get into cruise control or on the other hand, maybe you did so poorly or you just really struggled and you just start to have that mindset of giving up. So I hope neither one of those happen. I hope that you everybody looks at first semester, whether you did really well or you struggled and you set some new goals and you find ways to grow no matter what. And so, um, again, I'm looking forward to continuing to build relationships with our staff and students here. Um, and again, really showing that Zephyr pride um, and uh, most importantly, showing that kindness and spreading that um, uh, throughout our building. So I know that uh, you have an extended homeroom today, so I hope you take some time today uh, to again celebrate each other and get ready for the second semester. We are going to now celebrate some birthdays here at Lombard Middle School. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. What we don't need today, you know what we mean. Today. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. We celebrate your life today. We're glad that you were born today. What we don't need today, you know what we mean. Today. And we hope you have a very happy birthday. Now let's see what's on the lunch menu on this Tuesday. I think it's time to get some lunch. Lunch, it's time for lunch. Lunch, it's time to munch, crunch, eat a bunch. It's time for lunch, not brunch. I'm starving. Lunch. On that delicious lunch menu for today, it's walking tacos, refried beans, peaches, and your choice of white or chocolate milk. We hope you have a delicious lunch. Now let's see if we have any shout outs today. Our shout outs today just are about our students of the week. Our past students of the week were posted on our social media page. Community members really appreciate. Uh, several of them will cheer you on and give you huge congratulations. Uh, so this uh, will be our new students of the week. So again, congratulations to those students. Uh, you will see your slide in just a little bit. Um, also, this is just a reminder, next week we'll start our shout outs again for my path. Again, that homeroom challenge which homeroom can get to the top for most minutes um, and again concentrating on those past lessons also your sweet 360 lesson we need to start again uh, making that a priority we will finish our sweet 360 lesson of the week now let's see who our students of the week are Congratulations to those students. I thought we'd do a little transition here on Teamwork Tuesday to see if we can solve a math riddle. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And the answer is 141. Um, again, I should be hearing cheers uh, throughout our building for those mathematicians that solve that riddle. Now let's review some behavior expectation and learn what our affix of the week is. I can follow the rules, I can follow the rules, and we'll have a good day when we follow the rules. 
our behavior expectations of the week. The first one is wearing your mask properly. For those students that receive multiple reminders from your teachers, they have every right to put your name on a list of using our referral form. Our deans will reteach the expectation. Once you've been retaught, your name will go on a list. And if you hit the, again, where a staff member has to write you up again, you will then have a contact home. After that contact home, it does become a permanent office referral that does go on your right Record and it goes into the system. Uh, again, we're using a term non-compliance, which means you're not complying to, again, a school rule. Whether you agree with it or not, it is the rule and it is the expectation here at Lombard Middle School. For those students, again, that continue to struggle, you will lose a recess or lunch or an after-school detention could be earned. Uh, I hope our students don't hit that level. Uh, again, making sure you stay disciplined and committed to keeping our school community safe by wearing your mask over your nose and your mouth. And our second one is a, um, we're gonna focus on a social skill of proper greetings. And I'd like to concentrate first on what are proper greetings uh, when you enter a classroom. So again, it would be student to adult. Um, I really recognized um, that I was your age once before and some of the, the, the slang and the trends are a little different since I'm much older. Um, but an example would be, and there's probably going to be some chuckles, but when we use terms like bro, that is an acceptable piece that some of you use with your friend and social group. But again, not appropriate to address adults in our building. And it's extremely important to understand that home language, uh, your social group setting language versus a school and professional uh, setting. And even as the adults, we can share with you our sometimes social language is much different than our professional language. And so I really want our students to start to learn the skill of proper greetings. Um, a great place would be to brainstorm what are proper greetings when a student greets an adult. And it's a great time to start because you will have some new teachers um, and you truly can brighten someone's day with a proper greeting. Our A fix or suffix of the week is ER. ER is very similar to IST. It kind of becomes that one who. So a teacher, one who teaches. A writer, one who writes. Uh, if you notice, sometimes it's a verb, and then if we want to make that verb a noun, we put an ER on the end. Now I'll be excited to see all the different ER words you can come up with. Again, I challenge you, make sure that it's not just part of the spelling, but it's truly the suffix of that word. I hope everyone has a great start to their first or for their second semester um, as first semester ended and I hope everyone again really concentrates on creating great habits because those great habits will help us achieve greatness. Go be great Zephyrs! Show pride and celebrate who I am. We are Lombard.